Howdy guys, your coach, Barton Jeffs, and you are awesome. I believe it, do you? Today I wanna to talk to you about mindset. I wanna to talk to you about telling yourself, when I do this, I can do anything. There is no if. There is no if. It's when I do this, I can do anything. I wanna give you some examples. Some of them not so great, but all true. When it came to graduating from high school, Coach Barton Jeffs was not doing so well. I was struggling. And my teachers gave me all the work that I had missed. Now I gotta tell you, I wasn't doing well because I like to talk. Imagine that. I didn't do my work well. So anyway, they gave me my work and I told myself, when I do this, I can do anything. And I did it. I completed the work and I graduated with all my peers. And some of you are probably watching this video. Yep, you're awesome. Then I went to basic training at the age of 18. And at basic training, I have the drill sergeant yelling at me, telling me to push harder, do more push ups, run faster, more sit ups, get in the mud, roll around. Go do 30 mile ruck march and do it within six, 12 hours. I don't remember. That was a long time ago, over 27 years ago. But I kept telling myself, when I do this, I will then be able to do anything. And I did it. I graduated. I became a soldier in the army. And it was awesome. Next, I deployed to the Persian Gulf War, Desert Storm. And here I am in the middle of Saudi Arabia, and then in the middle of Iraq, and then in the middle of Kuwait. There's people all over me, people all around me that are hurt, injured, dying. There's people that are sad that they're there. There's people that are missing home, and it's hot. And there's winds blowing the oil fields and their and their smoke into our faces and i'm telling myself when i get home when i do this i will know then i can do anything and i returned home i returned home safe and it was awesome and then i went on a mission for my for a church that i joined after the persian gulf war because of it and i went to japan and I told myself, when I learn Japanese, I will be able to do anything. I'm not gonna say that I am fluent, fluent, but it's still this many years later at the age of 45, and I went when I was 22 to 24, at the age of 45, I can still speak Japanese. Because I told myself, when I do this, I will be able to do anything. Then my wife and I, we got married. And after we got married, I started my own business as a credit card, credit card distributor for Sears. And I was an entrepreneur and I had my own business. And I said, when I make this successful, I will be able to do anything. And I was successful and I was able to pay all of our bills. There was no problems whatsoever. And then the Sears decided they no longer wanted contractors. But nonetheless, I had a successful business. Now I was proud of myself and I knew that I could do anything because I was successful at that. Then came infertility with my, with my wife, Tracy. And that was a struggle for 17 years. We loved our son, Caleb, that we finally were able to get after two years of marriage. And as we struggled through infertility, I told myself, when we get through this, no matter what the result is, even if we never have kids, when we get through this, when we get over that hump, we will be able to do anything. And we did. We found a way to have children. And we were successful, and now we have four. In fact, there they are. Didn't realize that, but there's my four children that we worked so hard and had so much faith and so much desire. And it's because we told ourselves, when we do this, we can do anything. 
And we were provided because we fought hard. And then I decided to become a warrant officer in the army. And yet again, I went to basic training. Imagine that twice. As I learned to be a leader and an officer in the army, I, and when I had to do a drill, imagine this, you gotta get out of bed, you have to shower, shave, make your bed, get dressed, and be downstairs for your physical fitness in the morning in seven minutes. Seven minutes, you had to do all that in seven minutes. I told myself, when I do this, I will be able to do anything. And I did it, everything, seven minutes, it was awesome. And I knew that I could be a warrant officer. I could be an officer in the army and I could do anything. This is a long story, but I think you're getting the point. Finally, I became a beach body coach. And I became a beach body coach because I wanted to lose weight. And I had 20 pounds to lose. And then I wanted to be able to help others. And then I wanted to help create more income for my family. And I set a, I set a goal. A goal of be, reaching diamond. And a diamond, I'm going to tell you right up front, it really doesn't pay that well. I get about $150 a week. About $500 extra dollars a month as a diamond coach. Which still 500 is awesome. Some of you were struggling. That would be helpful. But I told myself, when I reach that goal, I will be successful. I will be able to do anything and I will have helped 12 people to do what I've done. And I did it within 67 days. 67 days, which in the Beachbody world is pretty awesome. And I knew when I set my mind to this, when I do this, I will be able to do anything. Today, what made me think of all of this is this. Let me just show you. Look at all those weights. Look at all those weights sitting on that barbell. Today, I did hammer and chisel. I did hammer and chisel plyometrics, which was difficult. And I've done hammer and chisel for 58 days. I have two more days to go. Hammer and chisel is based on weights and cardio. And it is an awesome workout. But before I started, I was not a weightlifter. And I still wouldn't necessarily call myself a weightlifter. But when you look at all those weights, I know that when I set my mind to it, I can do anything. And I'm doing it. I'm lifting those weights, and it's awesome. My wife says, hey, you're getting some muscles. You're actually toning out. I never thought I could do that. I never even believed it. I never even imagined it. And now I know that when I do this, I can do anything. When I'm sitting in the middle of Iraq, in 2003 and four. I'm sitting on top of a hot, hot, abandoned building, sleeping on a cot in 120, 130 degree weather with people all around me and I'm sweating my butt off and there are bombs going off everywhere and there, there are, you don't know where the enemy is. You don't know who the enemy is. And you don't know who you can trust and who you can't. You don't know who's the good guy and who's the bad guy. And you just don't know if you're gonna make it home. When I did that, I knew when I do this, I can do anything. I want you to remember this. I want you to go to bed tonight telling yourself when I do this. And you decide what this is. What is this to you? Post it. If you post it below this video, then it is, and it will be, and it will become. Because you told yourself, when I do this, whatever this is, when I do this, I can do anything. It's no if, it's no maybe, it's no can't, should, or want to. It is when I do this.
I can do anything. I believe it. I believe in you. And you are awesome. And I know it. I believe it. When you do blank this, you will do anything you set your mind to. To include my four awesome kids. To include returning home from war. To include being an awesome beast body coach. To include being a officer in the army. Etc, etc, etc. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this, like it, share it, or just keep following. I don't care. But thanks for watching. Yes, you are awesome. And when you do this, you too can do anything. See ya. Bye.